will go in. So now we are no more restricted of uh, putting uh, the listing the values in the same order of as, as as the list of columns in the actual table. We can list the columns in any sequence we like. However, the values should match the same sequence of the column. Okay, so let's see what we are talking about. So let me first delete this record number six. Control enter. Select star from employee. Control enter. The record number six is no more there. Okay. So let's say, let's use this new syntax. So in this new syntax, what we are doing is we are providing the list of columns to this insert statement. So insert into employee. Now the list of columns in the bracket. So I can. Uh, we already know that the statement could be written in, in multiple lines. It doesn't have to be uh, the whole thing has doesn't have to be in one line. Okay, Oracle only looks for spacing, and, and line is considered as a, as a space. Uh, okay, so insert into employee. So for uh, uh, readability, I just uh, you know uh, writing this thing in, in multiple lines. So call ID name salary department previous oh, I, I have to skip this previous salary because I don't want to enter the previous salary value 6 ID is 6 name is Aisha Hassan salary is 900 and department is 10 and there is no previous salary alright so let me just uh, run this statement one row inserted let me see select star from employee control enter so we got the same result so what I did was in the list of uh, columns all I did was I skipped the last column and I don't have to provide any value so if you skip a column Oracle will try to insert null in, the, in, in because something has to go in there right you can't just skip a column when when you're entering a row the whole all values in the row are inserted if you skip a column in this insert statement Oracle will try to insert null in that column Okay, so let me try one more thing. Delete every uh, ID number six record. Select star from employee. So ID six is deleted. Okay, so just to give you an example, now the columns could be in any sequence you like. So first we are inserting salary value, then name, then ID, and then department. Now the values should match the same order as the column. However, now column doesn't have to match the same order as uh, the, the order of columns in, in the actual table okay however the values here list of values must match the list of columns um, uh, in in the statement okay so salary is 900 the name is Aisha Hassan ID is 6 department is 10 and no previous salary all right so this doesn't matter. I give space. I don't give space. Right? Same thing. The Oracle knows a column, comma, and this is a number. Okay. So space here, however, space would matter because this is string value. All right. So let me just run this statement. One row inserted. Select star from employee. See same result. Okay. So not only in this tutorial you have uh, learned the concept of null. But also you have seen three different syntax of writing insert statements. Okay, there is more to learn about null, uh, null value. Uh, there are a lot of uh, idiosyncrasies associated with null value, and we will take care of that in coming tutorials. I see you in next tutorial.